Hello students, I welcome you once again all to the learning session of the automotive engineering. In today's video, we will discuss more about the battery maintenance. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's start our video. So in battery maintenance, what we will learn, we will learn about the different maintenance and testing. Okay, so if a battery is not properly maintained, its service life will be drastically reduced. Okay, that we all know. Okay, so battery maintenance should be done during the every uh, cycle. Okay, or you can say every effective cycle. Now complete battery maintenance, it can be includes. What is that? So visually checking the battery. Now we are inspecting it. Okay. Now checking the electrolyte level in a cells on a battery with the caps. Okay. Now adding the water if it is low or you can say electrolyte level is low. Okay. Next is cleaning of the corrosion around the battery and battery terminals. Fine. Now what is the visual inspection of the battery? This was the main three. Now first is visual inspection. So battery maintenance should be always begin with the thoroughly visual inspection. Okay. Look for the signs of corrosion on or around the battery like on terminals, then signs of leakages, any crack on the top or bottom, any missing caps or any loose or missing hold down clamps. So this is the visual inspection. Second is checking the electrolyte level and adding the water. So on a vent cap of the batteries which is on the top, okay, the electrolyte level can be checked by removing that caps. Okay. Some batteries have a fill ring which indicates the electrolyte level and the electrolyte should be even with the fill ring. Okay. Now, if there is no fill ring, the electrolyte should be high enough to cover the tops of the plate. Okay. Some batteries have an electrolyte level indicator also like Delco IS. Okay. Now, this gives a color code visual indication of the electrolyte level with a black indicating that the level is okay and white meaning the it is low level. Okay. Now, if the electrolyte level in the battery is very low, fill the cells to the correct level with a distilled water. Okay. It is purified water actually. So, distilled water should be used because it does not contain the impurities found in a tap water. Now, tap water contains many chemicals that reduces the battery life. Okay. It is harmful to it. So, the chemical contaminates the electrolyte and collect in the bottom of the battery case. So, it enough contaminates the collect in the bottom of the case. The cell plates short out. Okay. It will get short out and short circuit ruining the battery life. Okay. So, if water must be added at frequent levels, the charging system may be overcharging the battery. Now, so a, a faulty charging system can also force the excessive current into the battery. So the battery gassing can then remove the water from the battery. Okay. So from gas portion, it will be removed. So maintenance free batteries do not need any periodic electrolyte service under the normal conditions. It is designed to operate for the longer period without the loss of the electrolyte that is maintenance free batteries. Okay. Next is cleaning the battery and its terminals. So how we, uh, can we do that? So if the top of the battery is dirty, using a stiff brush, wash it down with a mixture of baking soda and water. Okay. This action will neutralize and remove the acidic mixture or you can say dirts and mixtures. Okay. Be careful not to allow any cleaning solutions to enter inside the battery. Okay. To clean the terminals, remove the cables and inspect the terminal. Uh, terminal ports to see if they are, uh, they are deformed or broken. Okay. Clean the terminals post and the inside the surface uh, and inside surfaces of the cable clamp with the cleaning tool before replacing them to the terminals. Okay. So you, you need to uh, clean up everything. Fine. Now do not use any scraper or knife to clean the battery terminals because it can damage also. This action will remove too much metal and it can ruin the terminal connections. Okay. So when reinstalling the cables, coat the terminals with a petroleum jelly or you can say white grease. So this will keep the acid fumes of the connections and keep them from uh, corroding again. Okay. So it will uh, prevent the corrosion and tighten the terminal uh, uh, just enough to make the connection, but do not over tight because it can cut out that threads. Fine. Next is checking the battery conditions, how we can check that. So when measuring the battery charge, you check the condition of the electrolyte. 
ओके एंड बैटरी प्लेट एज अ बैटरी बिकम्स डिस्चार्ज द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट हैज अ लार्जर परसेंटेज ऑफ वॉटर बिकॉज एसिड इज गॉन ओके दस द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट ऑफ द डिस्चार्ज बैटरी विल हैव अ लोअर स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी नंबर देन द फुल्ली चार्ज बैटरी ओके सो दिस राइज एंड ड्रॉप द स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी कैन बी यूज टू चेक द चार्ज इन साइड द बैटरी ओके सो जस्ट चेक दिस स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी एंड वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन विच स्टेट द बैटरीज ओके नाउ नो मेंटेनेंस और यू कैन से मेंटेनेंस फ्री बैटरीज कैन हैव द स्टेट ऑफ चार्ज चेक विथ अ हाइड्रोमीटर ओके इफ इट इज नॉट मेंटेनेंस फ्री बैटरी यू नीड टू चेक बाय द हाइड्रोमीटर इट टेस्ट द स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एंड इट इज फास्ट एंड वेरी सिंपल ओके देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ हाइड्रोमीटर्स अवेलेबल इन अ बैटरी टेस्टिंग मेथड्स फ्लोट टाइप बॉल टाइप एंड नीडल टाइप ओके फर्स्ट इज फ्लोट टाइप सो टू यूज अ फ्लोट टाइप हाइड्रोमीटर स्क्वीज एंड होल्ड द बल्ब now then immerse the other end of the hydrometer into the electrolyte then release the bulb so this action will actually fill out all the hydrometer with the electrolyte now hold the hydrometer even with a line of sight and compare the numbers on the hydrometer with the top of the electrolyte okay most float uh, hydrometers are non temperature correcting okay so uh, forever the uh, new models will have a built in thermometer also and the conversion chart also that allows you to calculate the correct temperature also with the specific gravity or specific density okay second is ball type so the ball type hydrometer is becoming more popular because you do not have to use the temperature conversion chart the balls allow for a change one temperature when the submerged in a electrolyte okay this allows for any temperature offset So to use a ball type hydrometer, uh, draw electrolyte into the hydrometer with a rubber bulb at the top. Okay, then note the number of balls floating in the electrolyte. Done, and instructions on or with the hydrometer will tell you that whether the battery is charged or it is discharged. Fine. So this was the ball type. Next is needle type. So a needle type hydrometer uses the same principle as the ball type. Okay. so when the electrolyte is drawn into the hydrometer it causes the plastic needle to register the specific gravity okay so a fully charged battery should have hydrometer reading of at least 1.265 just remember 1.265 or higher okay if it is below the battery should be recharged or it can be a defective battery okay a discharged battery can also be caused by different actions like if it is defective battery then a charging system problem inside the battery thereafter starting system problem of the uh, car so it can also discharge the battery okay uh, there can be a poor connection also thereafter uh, engine performance problem also so it cannot recharge like a uh, uh, excessive cranking time and all that okay thereafter also electric problems can be also there okay so electrical problems drawing the current out of the battery with the ignition of defective battery can be found by using the hydrometer to check each cell okay if the specific gravity of any cell varies excessively like from 20 to 25 point to 50 points the battery is in very bad conditions okay so all the cells with the low readings must be shorted or uh, on when all the cells have equal specific gravity even if they are low the battery can be recharged okay if it is not short so on maintenance free batteries what is happening a charge indicator i shows the battery charging okay so the charge indicator changes its color with the level of battery charge for example the indicator may be green when the battery is fully charged it may turn black when it is discharged or yellow when the battery needs to be replaced so this is the color coding of the maintenance free battery now if there is no charge indicator i and when in doubt of the uh, reliability a voltmeter or ammeter can also be checked okay so by voltmeter and ammeter load tester can check the battery condition quickly okay so we can use that also so this was all about the battery maintenance fine so that's it in today's session in next session we will discuss more about the battery chapter and starting systems okay so i hope you like this video uh, and please like uh, and comment okay if uh, you have any query you can also comment so Till then watch all my videos and just keep learning thank you